Are you ready for a whirlwind of information? We're going to be covering networking very briefly in this video. Now understand that this is not a course about networking, so we're not going to dig in too much to what these terms mean. If you're unfamiliar with them, that's okay. I'm going to be showing you the basics of how to actually use the network interfaces to get an internet connection so you don't have to understand all of the technical jargon and in fact there really won't be very much in this video I'm really just gonna focus on giving you uh, the the practical steps the files you need to know the commands you need to know to perform basic networking in Ubuntu Linux server so that being said let's go ahead and jump right in you can see here I have some information which again I will make available to you as a um, a resource as a PDF that you can keep on your hard drive or print out for quick reference but the first command that I want to teach you is the if config command now if config is very similar to on the Windows system the IP config command so if you are at all familiar with Windows networking and you already know the IP config command just remember that on Linux it is IF the IF config and in this case that stands for interface so this is the interface configuration you can see at the top ETH 0 that's gonna be an Ethernet port LO it's gonna be your loop back local loop back don't worry about that WLAN 0 is gonna be your wireless port if of course you have a wireless card you may not see WLAN here you might just see ETH 0 or you might just see LO but if your box is connected to the internet then it's going to be going likely through either an ETH, uh, ETH 0 or WLAN 0 kind of interface now in our particular case I'm using wireless and I'm doing that intentionally so that I can show you the complexities of using wireless once we move on to the network configurations. But know that here on this screen, using the IF config command, you are able to see your IP address, which if you look at WLAN 0, is listed as INET ADDR colon. Okay? You can see your IP address here. You can see the hardware or MAC address. Uh, lots of other information that, again, if you know networking, is useful to you. And if you don't, you really don't need to know. Okay? So if you're simply asking yourself, am I connected to the Internet? Then the next command I'll teach you is ping. Okay? You can just use ping and then google.com or something else. I always use google.com. Just go ahead and ping google.com. If you're seeing an output like this, you are connected to the internet. Okay, you have an internet connection because uh, we can see here that there's uh, we're actually able to ping the server. Okay, and you can see your time in milliseconds to the server. If we use Control C, we can stop pinging, and uh, that tells you that you have an internet connection. I know, I know that's really basic, and I'm I'm. I'm dumbing it down only because we just have a short time to talk about networking and I want you to get to the, the practical side of things. Does your box have an internet connection? If it does have an internet connection, how do you find your, your MAC address, which is your, your hardware address? How do you find your IP address? Again, you're going to use IF config to find that information, the interface configuration command to get that information. Now, moving back to our little cheat sheet here. There are two important files that we're going to cover that are going to store your basic network configuration. The first one is very basic. Okay, so, so we're going to do sudo nano etc host name. This is where you set the host name for your server. You can find the host name easily on the shell. It's going to be after the at symbol, so uh, after your username and the at symbol. So you can see here Cody at test serve. Test serve is my host name and you'll be able to see that in my hostname file here look how simple that is it's a very small file that has uh, your host name in it uh, by default uh, it's going to be set up like this um, there are things that you can do to make your hostname file a little more friendly uh, instead of just giving the host name um, but all you need to know for now is that if you wanted to change the host name the name that your server goes by on the network you would just change it here and reboot your system and you'd be good to go now we didn't make any changes there I just uh, got out of that file and now I want to show you 
where you actually configure your interfaces. That's going to be in the etc. network interfaces file. Okay. Again, we're not going to worry about loopback. Uh, just take a look here at the Ethernet network interface. And you can see auto, eth0. The auto is uh, telling the operating system that this interface can be, um, upon boot, can be initialized. And uh, if you plug a cable in and things like that, then the uh, eth0 port will come to life. <laughs> plug and play, <laughs> okay. Um, uh, iFace for interface is eth0. And then INET, this is where you're specifying your IPv4 um, protocol here. And if you wanted to do IPv6, it would be INET6. Uh, INET DHCP, uh, that's going to be um, what allows you to pull an IP address from your router so that you don't actually have to... Um, configure that manually. However, if you wanted to, you could configure it manually with INET static. And then after you did that, you would give it an IP address. So you can see I tabbed over here and then I'm typing address and um, I'll just, you know, just an example here for you. That could be the IP address you want to assign. Uh, you would need to specify the net mask 255.255.255.0. And you would also uh, need to specify the gateway 192.168.1.1, for example. Okay, and that is how you would give this machine a static IP address utilizing the ETH0 interface. So know that this wouldn't affect wireless, uh, which is configured below. So taking a look at the wireless configuration here, Again, you see auto WLAN 0, and then the interface WLAN 0, followed by INET DHCP. Again, I don't, I don't need or want a static IP address right now for this test server. However, using a server, you're going to want to set that up as static so that the server is not constantly getting a new DHCP lease, uh, however frequently your router set up to do that, and the IP address is not rotating. Okay, so in a real world setting, and again, this is kind of moving into networking things that I don't have time to discuss in this video because this isn't a networking course. Just know that on a real server, you're going to set that up to static. Okay, that's going to be the best way to do that. But for simplicity's sake here for my test server, I've set it up with DHCP. Uh, and then after that, for your wireless here, you set your WPA... SSID, that's going to be the network name, your wireless network name, and then WPA PSK, uh, and that's going to be your wireless key, uh, the, the, the password, the wireless encryption key that you're using for that wireless network. So you can configure that there. And since it's now configured here, and I'm going to close without saving those changes, I, I don't want a static IP address on uh, ETH0. Now that we've done that, let me show you using IF up and IF down how we uh, bring an interface down and bring it back up. So what do I mean by bringing it down? Well, I'm not actually going to do this <laughs> for, for I hope obvious reasons because I would lose connection with my server. But if I issue sudo IF down WLAN zero, then the WLAN zero interface, which I'm using to connect with the internet and consequently using to connect through SSH with my computer here, would go down and I would lose internet connectivity. Uh, so instead, let me show you sudo IF down, interface down, ETH zero is going to bring that down, okay, and sudo IF up ETH zero is going to bring that interface back up. Now, it's probably going to be mad with me since I don't, uh, it would be a little mad at me here since I don't have an Ethernet cable um, actually connected to the computer. 
I'm not sure how happy DHCP Discover is going to be here. What it's doing is I have ETH0 set up to DHCP, uh, the Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. And again, remember, uh, on a real server, you're going to want to set a static IP here, but I haven't done that because it's a test server. I'm using DHCP. If you're just wanting internet connectivity, uh, DHCP is a very simple way to do that and Linux has become a lot more friendly with DHCP where in the past everything was static or assumed to be static and it just didn't play as nicely with DHCP. Those days are gone and now DHCP um, is, is properly integrated with, um, with Ubuntu Linux server. Okay, so that was just showing you how you can bring an interface down and then you can bring it back up. One common reason you would want to do that is if you wanted a new DHCP lease or you wanted to refresh your IP address or something like that. Maybe you don't have internet connectivity and you think that you should have internet connectivity. You can bring that interface down and then you can bring it back up to refresh it. That would be the same on a Windows system as I as IP config release renew. Okay, you could release that configuration and then renew it. Okay, that's basically what we're doing. We're actually bringing the entire interface down. But that's essentially what we're doing there. Okay, that really, those are the basics of networking with Ubuntu Linux server. Okay, you know how to change your host name the name that your server is going to go by on the network. You know how to get in and adjust your network interfaces with the etc. network interfaces file. You know how to check your configuration using ifconfig. You can bring an interface down. You can bring it up. You also know how to ping. And again, that is just an, a really easy way for you to tell if you have an internet connection. Okay, now obviously I know I have an internet connection. Um, yeah, but anyway, that, that's a quick and easy way to do that using the ping command. And then we even walked through configuring the etc. network interfaces file a little bit using either a static IP address or DHCP and uh, showing how we can specify the network name and the pass key for our network as well. Those are the basics. Uh, go forward and conquer your uh, Ubuntu server using uh, the information here. And this also will conclude our basic section and we're getting ready to move on to the common functions and features that I know you've been waiting for. And I appreciate you walking through all of this information because this gives you a good solid foundation. But now it's about time that we move on to Samba. And, uh, you know, we move on to uh, showing you how to remote connect using SSH, which I've been doing this entire time. How to use Apache, how to create a RAID 1 array. These are those basic server features uh, that you really need to know. So I'm really excited about the next section. Uh, move on, uh, proceed on when you feel comfortable with all of this information.